Hi, it's Susie here and I've moved back to my university uh, halls. I've moved back to my university halls because I have stuff to do and I need to concentrate. So I have moved back um, today. I don't know why I decided to do it and I just thought I'd bring you along, guys along with me um, settling in because I've lived at home with my parents for four months and now I'm living in a studio on my own. So I want to show you guys the absolute mess that my fly is in now because I need to unpack everything. Okay, we'll do it like we're walking in. So I've just unpacked like some things, like I've unpacked all like my toiletries and stuff for the bathroom. But as you can see, I've got cases full and some bedding that needs to go up on. The news is on because uh, Boris is making an announcement. I've like unpacked all my food and stuff that needed to go in the fridge. And yeah, I've still got quite a lot to do. Um, so I'm gonna bring you guys along with me unpacking. I was gonna bring you guys with me to like pack and stuff, but I was just literally so busy these past couple of days that like, I honestly just didn't have the energy to pick up my camera and start filming things. I uh, don't worry, I made sure I brought these goods with me. And like I call this like my and stuff so i just really need to reorganize everything and try and find a place because i have some books down there but like i don't think i might have got like will go so i might have to like swap some stuff Having a nightmare. I don't know where to put my books. So as I showed you, I've got like all these here, and then I've got some there. Um, got some there. But I don't know whether to like move any of this and then put my books there instead of there. So I'm gonna have to work it out. So let's start unpacking them. <laughs> Okay, so I decided to put my books here. Like, it's it's hard to do a bookshelf thing, but they're the only ones I've managed to bring with me. They're like, most of them like physical copies, and so like, they're my favorites that I can, I'm gonna reread again. But obviously there's a Sainsbury's nearby and they always do little deals. So this is what it looks like so far. Got my disposable camera, my plants, and then yeah. I was going to think about moving some stuff up there from there, but I think it adds a bit of character to the telly, you know, because I'm not going to be, I'm just putting this on for some background noise. So, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I've forgotten how hard it is to make a bed here. Like, look at me. I'm like breaking out of sweat. I'm only five foot four. I said that. I did an Instagram um, post, like, meet the books grammar, and I said, I'm only five foot four, but that's just because, like, all my life I've been surrounded by people who are above five, six, apart from my sister, she's five one, but I was getting people being like, well, I'm only five foot, like, try being four foot eleven, I was like, I'm sorry, can't we just, like, have a small people alliance and just, you know, like each other for being small? Sorry for looking like a mess, but I have finally uh, unpacked. So I thought I would show you guys the finished product of my studio and what it looks like. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do a little tour now. Okay, so you just walk in the door. 
and then here is the bathroom and it's like a nice cute little bathroom and it does its job over there the shower is actually really good the water pressure in here is really good and the bed in the student house is in the water pressure so yeah got a shoe rack here of all my lovely shoes and then here is like the little kitchenette i suppose because it's just got like a hob and a compact oven fridge sink and then that's all like storage and an extract fan here i've got like a little bar stool and then i've just like put all that i need to sort the wires out help hazard i got some eggs and then my current read there which i haven't really read much of because i've been packing <laughs> and been busy the past couple of days and yeah and here's the desk i love this desk space because my room at home like literally the desk was like i would say probably about like half this maybe but yeah it's good and then some shelf storage here and then some uh what they call drawers and then there's like really good under bed storage as well and the bed's quite big like it is quite big and then yeah my tv I'm watching Shit's creek at the moment which is my favorite comfort program and then yeah just flowers someone's getting a weird drawers delivery I think for the rest of the evening, I am just going to chill because, but unpacking is like exercise that like you just don't know. So I think I'm going to do, I like, have a bit of a rest, maybe read some of my book and then I'm going to, maybe even have a nap to be fair. I might have a nap and then I'm going to, um, yeah, make something to eat. I'm going to get out of these jeans because I've had them on all day and now I'm just really uncomfortable. So it's just not ideal. So I'm going to do now. Hi, so I'm just been watching Shit's Creek for about an hour and I said I was gonna read but I'm I'm just too tired to focus on reading at the moment so I think that's gonna be my nighttime treat. Um yeah so i am actually feeling quite happy to be back like i think i just needed kind of like a shove to like feel a bit of motivation and because i like i'm living alone please don't murder me i'm living alone and um i think sometimes because like i'm now forced to have to do everything myself and like it gives you kind of motivation gives you something to do with you in the day like i kind of just felt like if you watch my first vlog i just felt like all my days were wrapping one in the same i know that we're all in the same boat especially like if you've been locked down for a long time everything kind of just becomes a bit monotonous but yeah i am feeling a lot better i'm happy to be back in my studio I made sure like when I moved in here because I knew I'd be living alone that I'd make it like homely so like more cushions like things like my TV and like this TV stand where I can put books and stuff and yeah just like even like little trinkets like that lavender plant pot I just wanted to like bring because I just wanted it to feel a bit more homely especially living alone but I actually do like I thought like last night I was worried I'd be a bit like anxious like moving back and like maybe you just think oh my god like i get here and i think oh my god like this is the worst decision i've made but i'm actually feeling really good like i'm feeling happy so yeah okay guys it's time to cook with lucy so all right i'm really tired and i'm really hungry so i'm gonna just make ramen like really simple ramen like packet noodle ramen <laughs> but with a twist. So, um, I like to zhuzh it up. It's not just gonna be noodles in soup. It's gonna be noodles with something else. <laughs> so, in here, I have some uh, beef, some spring onions, and some pad thai. So, thankfully, I did a little shop with my dad before he went. And if you're a uni student, like you're just renowned for being a scrounger anyway and getting what, get whatever you want. So I scrounged my weekly shop off my dad, my parents. So yeah. She's in a dog ball, as my boyfriend likes to call it, but. 
he got me out of these noodles and yeah, simple but effective. Done my skincare. I'm now settling down with a lemon tea and a nice book. My lips are so sore today. I don't know what's wrong with them, but yeah, I'm that's what I'm gonna do. I'm reading the girls at the moment, and I haven't probably got into it. Uh, I'm only on chapter two. And somebody told me that it's briefly based on, like, not briefly, but like was inspired by uh, the man, like Charles Manson. So that's interesting. I've watched many a documentaries, like crime, true crime documentaries about Charles Manson. So. It's going to be an interesting read, I think. It's been on my shelf since like 2016. So it's probably good that I'm actually finally reading it. So yeah, get stuck into this. Probably with, I I love ASMR. And I'm going to have some ASMR on in the background to keep me calm and then maybe watch some YouTube. So that is my plan for the night. morning obviously i just said good morning but um yeah i've just woke up it's quite early on in the morning and the sun's just about to rise but it's literally look like it's snowed loads like not loads but like a bit last night and it's just so weird because this time last week it was like well when i was in borough it was like 19 degrees which is like spain temperatures in middlesbrough so it's just so strange it's like a like got back in time to winter because this is what it was like here when I left for Christmas. But yeah, I had an all right night's sleep. I mean, like, I keep on waking. I kept on waking up in the middle of the night. I think it's just because, like, I don't know about you, but like sometimes I have to like, I become like blissfully unaware of my surroundings, and I wake up. I'm like, where the hell am I? I've been like kidnapped. But yeah, I had a, just like an on and off sleep, and I just decided to get up early this morning. I'm now enjoying my coffee i've got the news on in the background because you know i need to stay informed especially when it's like concerning like the rules and stuff because i'll be going back home to get my hair done because let's just not talk about that i am very i'm exposing myself with these roots i keep on thinking about growing it out but i think i prefer being blonde and i'm how i hope i keep on praying that now like we can just kind of live with this and then i can keep getting my hair done every eight uh, 8 to 12 weeks and look a bit more normal but yeah so I'm just going to read a bit now and then I'll do me washing up and then I'm going to do a workout I don't know about a film that because I am very awkward when working out I look like a um, I don't know there was like this TikTok and it was like a girl doing like a time lapse I saw it on Twitter but like it was a girl doing a time lapse of an app workout and like you know when you do like scissor kicks like type of things it just looked like something out like of an action movie it was dead funny I thought I was. But I think I have an easily pleased sense of humor nowadays. But yeah, I'm going to carry on reading this book and drink my coffee. And then I'll catch up with you when I'm getting ready. I did a workout, but I decided not to show you guys it because I did the workout and I just looked back at the footage then. And oh my God, my posture, like my whole form is off. I, I don't know how, like, I was doing squats and, like, my back was, like, arched like that and I was just going down. So I decided to minimise my my embarrassment. I would just not put it in. But anyway, I've decided to get myself fully ready today because I am going to go out gallivanting later, even though it looks, like, freezing and, yeah, not ideal weather, to be honest, to be wanting to go out, but... I'm just gonna pop to the local supermarket, which is literally like a five minute walk away. And then I'm gonna go and look at the book section in there. 
and then I need to get some other things just like um toiletries and stuff so I'm just gonna go there and do that um so yeah I've decided to get myself fully ready because I was sick of looking like this and my skin is still horrible I was expecting like a miracle last night to happen but it just didn't the little fairies didn't come down and sprinkle good skin on me so we're just gonna have to deal with it um yes yeah, so I'm gonna do some more skincare now I'm gonna do my hair I'm gonna put some like a little bit of makeup on and then I'm gonna put on an outfit and then I'm gonna get on with work I'm gonna do some work gonna have something to eat probably finish off a bit of the work if i haven't finished it off and then i'm gonna go out for a walk and then we'll catch well we'll catch up before that but yeah Emma Chamberlain's one of my favourite YouTubers is because she also has under eye circles like me and like I remember when I was younger I said to my dad I mean oh god I've got really bad like under eye circles like they got, I look like I've got a black eye and you just turn around and we've had a rough life do you see like of course you're gonna look a bit like <laughs> and tired but I just think yeah it's hereditary it's it's from the pacemaker I can't do anything more about it <laughs> So I just run a brush through my hair and put on my outfit. So I've got this um, like minty green Tommy Hilfiger jumper from Depop and then Spike Dreams from Week a Day, the raw ones. My famous slippers and then just some beaded necklaces. That one's from ASOS and that one's from Depop. And then my watch so I can tell the time. So now I'm gonna do some work and then have something to eat and probably finish off some work and then go out for a walk. But yeah, I just thought I'd get ready now. So I'm not like, you know, when I wanted to go out for a walk, think, oh my God, I'm not gonna go because I need to get ready. So I thought I would be clever about it. and finished off some notes that I need to do for like an assignment and I am getting very hungry I'm like sitting here like looking at the clock and it's like a socially acceptable time to eat something and I think I'm gonna have to I also had to put my hair half up half down just because my hair at the moment is a tragedy like as soon as these hairdressers go up and I can't wait like I've already booked in for an appointment for the 21st so Fingers crossed, it'll be fine and I can go. So yeah, she's just not looking, looking great at the moment, so. But yeah, I'm just gonna put like these all together before I have something to eat. Otherwise, like I know I'll get annoyed at myself when I come back and I'll be like, now I can't remember because I'm on a brave wave. Brave wave? I'm on a brain wave. Maybe I'm not. Maybe my brain is about to explode, who knows? <laughs> I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna have something to eat. I might try and suss something out, try and plan something for my work, and then I can go and go for a walk. Go into the shops and look at some books. Which I shouldn't be doing really, but there's no one here to stop me. Like I have got a fair few books here to like go through, but I they're all really like dystopians, utopians and stuff like that. And I hate to say it guys, but I am in the mood for a romance. I just want a bit of sweetness. I read like, so last month I read Maggie O'Farrell's After You Gone. And that was like, 
it wasn't a romance it had romance elements in it but it ultimately broke my heart if you've watched my wrap up or if you've read my review you'll you'll know but like i just want something that has a nice happy ending because i want a nice happy ending you know what i mean like who cares if it's totally bullshit? can i say that i'm gonna say it <laughs> who cares if it's totally rubbish I just want some romance. <laughs> I looked at the weather forecast and it looks like it's going to rain this afternoon. So I've decided to go to the shops now just so I'm not getting pissed on, basically. Um, so I'm going to go there now and then I'll come back and I'll show you guys what I've got. I'm going to treat myself. I am aiming to get a book. So let's, fingers crossed. So yeah, I've just tucked my hair into my coat because the little wind out there looks crazy. But I've just put on my Dr. Martens and grabbed my tote bag and my North Face puffer. Got my keys, mask, and I'm gonna go. Sainsbury's Hall. So I managed to get these two books. So I'm happy with these. I've seen them all on Bookstagram and stuff. So yeah i'm excited i've just wiped them down because there was like some stuff on them but yeah look them two have been all over books around so i'm excited to get them i bought myself some flowers just carnations it's probably quite ugly but who cares and some salad and then got myself some makeup and i needed that i'm quite happy with these books that i got i mean they're quite thick books so hopefully they'll give me a uh, time the writing's not too bad actually in them but they are like not even that long actually like 340 pages or so so yeah i'm excited to get on because i said i've seen them all on like books and stuff so i'm excited to get into it um yeah so now i need to sort out these flowers so that is my next task okay. i put them there hopefully they will bloom soon and they will be all nice and pink and vibrant Right, I think I'm gonna shoot some bookstagram content, so I'm gonna bring you guys along. Right, I need to do my review for Burnt Sugar. So that is a purple book with green. So, you know, this wall is coming in quite handy. I used to hate it when I first moved in, but you know what? It's coming in handy. So it's the cover is purple and green. And I have this purple and green dress from uh, Motel Rock that I got last year. Okay, so I kept this jumper on actually, and then I have just kind of added, put that over the skirt, not the skirt, the dress, and I've just got my docks on. But I think that is quite a good match to um, the book cover. Yeah, I think that's a good match. So I'm gonna just take photos now. I just spruced up my makeup a bit and not blended in my concealer properly, but we move. Um, so I'm just gonna try and take a decent photo now. The pictures actually went really okay. So this is what I got. And I'm actually really, 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 really happy with them. I thought I would be having to take a photo for, you know, a long time to get one because I was trying to, I wanted to get the green wall in because no green, but I just couldn't get it in. So I'm gonna have to try and think of shooting locations for Bookstagram now. It's gonna have to become a priority. Mm, I don't know. I'll find something. The white sheet will probably come in use on one day. Um, it's just trying to get the right outfit pictures that are gonna be stressful, but we love that. But I'm happy with them and I'm happy got it done. Just need to like get it posted and to you guys now. So that's what I'll do. Now I'm gonna get changed. Out of these, I'm gonna put something comfy on, I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna put some a hoodie on and just chill because that's that's what the doctor ordered. I'm now just gonna sit and edit those pictures. Um I'm keeping this lipstick on, it's hiding the fact that my lips right now are very, very crusty. But I'm gonna watch some Shirts Creek as per usual, and I'm going to just uh, yeah, edit those pics while watching it and then upload it finally because I finished that book like five days ago I just hadn't had I, like I like to put effort in my pictures and if I can't put effort in the pictures then I don't feel nice uploading them because I kind of had a bit of like a confidence crisis 
like with my pictures i get really bad like imposter syndrome i think sometimes and like i think it's easy for me to just be very self-critical and yeah my head was all over the place with like things the other day like i was like not feeling the most confident about things because um yeah i uploaded like a picture with my scars out and stuff and i just yeah it was like a downward spiral basically um <laughs> so i'm gonna edit those pictures put the review up and then i'm gonna think about what i'm gonna have for dinner i don't know about if anybody else like if they live alone or like if they've moved away to university and you're solely responsible for cooking your own dinner now like i just think about what i'm gonna eat all day like i've been thinking like i'm gonna make pit of bread pizza so i'm just gonna use a pit of bread as like a base and then make my own sauce put my own cheese and toppings on and then put that with like a little side salad i've been thinking about making that all day like all day is that normal i don't know <laughs> like yesterday i was so tired so like i just wanted to make something quick so i made that ramen but today like all i've been thinking about is like making myself this pizza and thoroughly enjoying it probably with some shirts creek on i might have to start another series some at some point soon because I'm, I'm nearing the end of this again and i, I don't know what i'm gonna do with myself what well, am i gonna eat the food that i think about all day too i don't know now <laughs> hi it's the moment you've been waiting for it is now for tonight's interval of cooking with lucy and as i said like you would have just seen it like a couple of moments ago I am going to be making my own pita of bread, homemade, homier type of pizzas because um, I'm a lactose intolerant girl and I need a lactose free pizza so here we go I'm going to show you how to do it because I think that's fun I'm not like Gordon Ramsay chef but like I do enjoy cooking things taste better than they look I believe i mean i've impressed a lot of people in the past with my culinary skills so i think i think i'm okay i think i've got it down well i'll let you guys be the judge of that <laughs> dinner oh that pizza it was unreal it was gorgeous i know it didn't look it the cheese went a bit funny but it's been a while since i used i've used my convec oven so i do apologize if that really made you feel sick but if you are lacto lactose lactose intolerant like like your gal here i highly recommend the cathedral city one it's very nice it's very tasty very very cheesy so if that is your thing because some people don't like cheese and i suppose that's that's just a shame but now it is shower time night time where i feel like i get down into a nice cozy state so it's skincare i'm still going to use that same skincare that just obviously is just not working but we will persevere and hopefully i'll find some better skincare that'll do this face some justice because that's what I need. So I'm going to do, yeah, some skincare. Put my hair in some cute plaits. I'm hoping that tomorrow morning I wake up and it's like all nice and wavy. But I've done my skincare, I've had a shower, and now I feel refreshed. So for the perfect evening, it's now lemon tea time. So I've just been reading for the rest of the night, um, well for most of the night and I'm actually starting to really like this book. Like at first it took me a while to kind of like get into it but it's becoming more like interesting because it kind of like hints at the start like something 
happens but then it's kind of like unraveling the events to like how that happens and it's like really interesting so if anybody has read the girls by emma klein i would love to know like this has been on my shelf since 2016 and like i just haven't picked it up so i'm glad i've like picked it up now i've read that for a bit i read over 100 pages and i've got like 50 more to go so i think what i'm gonna do is just watch some youtube now like get into bed and then pick this up again before and like read maybe it's like 25 pages and then read the rest in the morning like when i get up like because i should know that's part of my morning routine so i think that's what i'm gonna do yeah but i'm enjoying it this is all this is gonna be the last time i speak to you guys like this because i'm now gonna settle for bed i really enjoyed bringing you all along to like me moving back here um back at home i wasn't feeling 100 percent myself i've kind of learned over the years like being at university now for four years to like live independently so like coming back here has kind of like given me that independence again um having a heart condition and stuff put me more at risk of covid and i've had my vaccine now so i feel a bit more safe but yeah i'm glad to be back and i'm glad i brought you with me it's kind of like helped me get back into a routine because obviously doing this i don't want to be like sat doing nothing and then you know like so it's like forced me to do something but i'm going to keep it up i like getting up early i like doing things and stuff like going out for a walk even if it's the supermarket get some flowers like it's all fun isn't it so yeah i'm gonna watch some youtube then read some of this and then hit the hit yeah i hope you have enjoyed this video and i hope you've enjoyed coming along with me and yeah i'll see you guys again next week so thank you for watching this mm -hmm.